Started in Jerusalem in 1992 by a group of activists and human rights advocates, Adamir offers support to Palestinian prisoners and detainees, advocates for their rights, and works to end torture and arbitrary detention. Sahar Francis spoke to our Interfaith Peace Builders delegation about Adamir, Israeli restrictions on detainees, family visitation rights, Israel's use of torture during administrative detention, and the unequal use of this detention. Domir was founded more than 21 years ago, and since then uh, we are just focused on covering the issue of the Palestinian prisoners. First, we were uh, working to represent the prisoners in the, under the uh, Israeli military system and the civil uh, system. But since the establishment of the Palestinian Authority, we are also representing political prisoners arrested by the Palestinian Authority, unfortunately. We do visitation program as well on monthly basis to all the prisons inside Israel to monitor the conditions of the prisoners, the violations that they face, including in the interrogation center, of course. All the Palestinian prisoners in the Israeli side, they are moved to inside Israel. It's uh, actually since 95, uh, before the establishment of the PA, when Israel decided to move all the prisoners to inside uh, Israel. This is by itself a violation for the international law because they are not allowed to move prisoners from the occupied territory to inside the occupying state. But we believe they did so in order to control the whole life of the Palestinian prisoners because they enforced the system of uh, permits on the family members that they want to visit these prisoners inside Israel. So any family member, which is limited for, uh, uh, of course, for the first class family members, not any family member can uh, uh, have access to visit. It's just the father, the mother, the sisters and brothers, the grandparents, and in some cases, the cousins and the uh, uh, nieces, once he, uh, nieces now actually, just cousins, uh, um, uncles and aunts, which uh, it's once a year or twice a year that they can get a permit. And imagine, uh, lots of prisoners, they don't have family members sometimes here or their close family member died already and they don't get family visits. Of course, they use as well the family visit as a punishment. Some prisoners, they would be punished themselves that they are banned family visits. Those that they are under isolation as well as a punishment, they would automatically be banned and restricted on family visits. Some of them, they can visit their family just once a year, and some they were banned for almost 10 years from meeting their families. And this is was one cause why the hunger strike, the mass hunger strike, in 2012, actually, were initiated because one major issue was the family visits. And of course, the moderate physical pressure was allowed. And there was a secret uh, report of a ministerial committee called Landau Committee that was confirming every three months the procedures that the security service, the general security service, can use. And the High Court came in 99 and said no more Landau committee permissions. You cannot use these techniques. If you want to use these techniques, go, go to the Knesset and get a law about torture, and then you would be able to use torture. But still, the High Court left a space for cases where they call them ticking bump cases. Unfortunately, they never defined properly what it means, ticking bump case, uh -huh. in which circumstances you would define a person as a ticking bump. So you would deal with him such a serious case and allow yourself to torture. And then uh, they catch a group that it was called, uh, maybe, a very extreme group that they were planning to bomb schools and attack uh, Palestinians. And it seems they were connecting between him and the group, but this group didn't confess against him directly. So they lifted the house arrest. He sued the, the state and he got compensation. For nine months, three administrative detention and said, this has never happened, never ever happened. I'm working for 20 years now. I never get any compensation for one of my clients at the administrative detention. So they do use it. In the last 14 years, 
four people in Israel were arrested at the well, it four also people, where in Palestine in the last 14 yeah. years I think more than 10,000 were subjected for administrative detention for different uh, areas. And it, so, it also it, they don't charge anyone, so there's no there's no charge, there's no yeah. case, right? So it's like yeah, but the report, silence. The report, all these attacks that they launch against Palestinians, no one single. Just last week, the court acquitted three settlers in the district court from attacking Palestinians. Where you can find such a case like even for throwing stones, you wouldn't be acquitted in the <laughs> in the military court as a Palestinian. It is really a very discriminating system.